Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a collaboration video for you. So big thank you to Amanda and everybody who's involved. Um, as usual, it's a lovely group of ladies and gents and um, just make sure you check out everybody else's videos. So the first polish I'm going to show you, they're my top five polishes for St. Patrick's Day and they are my top five out of my collection, obviously. So this first one here, is a very pretty one. Um, I've had to cut my nails down, unfortunately, because I had several breaks. So um, yeah, they're a bit shorter than I like, but it does make typing at work a little bit easier. So that's good. Uh, so this first one is one from Glam Polish. I don't think I've worn a Glam recently. Um, so it was nice to pop this one on. This one I found in a D stash and it's just this beautiful holographic green and it is called Patty O Green. So the name obviously sort of insinuates towards St. Patrick's Day. Um, although I will pop a picture up of what Loopy Frog sent um, to say that it is St. Patrick. So it's St. Paddy, not St. Patty. Um, which is very interesting actually. And I said, oh, one of my polishes has got Patty on it. Um, and this is this is the one. So but it still sort of says to me, St. Patrick's Day. Um, so that first one there is from Glam Polish. Uh, next up, we've got this gorgeous green cream, just a straight up basic cream. This is from Kiko, it's number 391, and that translates as the name Grass Green. I'm hoping I have swatches for all of these, apologies if I don't. This one is a very old one. I don't know if people remember, but at one point the Kiko polishes were being sold for very, very cheap. And I picked up quite a lot of them. Um, but yeah, another, just a, a green cream. Just great for that time of year. Especially if you wanted to add some nail art. This would be a great base. So that's Grass Green from Kiko. We then have a Simple Colours. This one is called Happy Ending. Oops. And again, quite an old one in my collection, but this is just gorgeous and it's got this sort of a yellow, yellowy gold shimmer through it. So it's something different for this for St. Patrick's Day, uh, but still a very stunning polish. Again, this is something you could pair with a glitter if you wanted to, or possibly you could probably get away with nail art as well. Uh, so that is Happy Ending by Sinful Colours. The next one is on the same sort of lines, um, but a slightly, the green isn't slightly, it's sort of, um, I don't know how to explain it really. It's sort of, I don't know if it's dark or maybe more edging towards the lime green side, but I do feel like this is still a good one for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and this is Essie's Sweater Weather. So this is just uh, another gorgeous one with that shimmer going through it. But the shimmer's sort of all over the polish rather than through it like on the sinful. But just a really pretty colour. In fact, I may have to put this one on again soon because I don't remember the last time I wore it. So that is Sweater Weather from Essie. And then, I'm just going to give it a quick shake before I show you, is this um, one from Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I've shook it up several times, it is, it is quite old, um, but I had to include this one because it is called I Rush Luck. Um, so I quite like the, the ones with the names that are related to St. Patrick's Day as polishes. Um, so yeah, this one had to be included. Again, this is just a green cream slightly not quite as bright as the kiko slightly more muted but still a lovely green and again something you could pair with a glitter or some nail art maybe some four leaf clovers or something okay and let's face it i wasn't going to stick at five i have got a bonus one for you and this is because this polish I got and it's sort of it's like a Halloweeny one um, 
and I wasn't sure if it would be Christmassy so I've tried this for lots of times of the year so this is a Sally Hansen Sour Patch Kids Insta Dry in the shade Slime All Yours so I think it is meant for more of October but I just feel like every time I look at it this green is very St Patrick's Day and it's got quite a different finish to my other ones as well so it's more of a sort of scattered holographic um, glitter in there but the hollow is not sort of as strong as the glam it's a bit more spread out um, but yeah I just couldn't so this is my sort of my add-on or my which this is my bonus one um, <laughs> so yeah that was slime all yours very pretty just hasn't sort of fitted in when I've worn it yet um, so I feel like this the rest of March I'm gonna probably test out some of my green polishes uh, not necessarily ones that are St. Patrick Day colors but I'm gonna try and wear some of my greens this month so hopefully that will be quite interesting for you when I go through them at the end of it so again thanks for watching this guys don't forget to check out everybody's videos there's always quite a good selection a l very different picks because we do have people from the UK the US and other places so there's always like quite a different few polishes make sure you leave me a uh, comment and a thumbs up and if you haven't already please click on that subscribe button and I'll see you next time bye